Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring OSPF. In particular, within OSPF, we're going to be taking a look at OSPF external route summarization. We're going to be taking a look at how to configure route summarization externally, and also we're going to be taking a look at the differences between internal and external route summarization. On one of my previous labs, I went through and configured internal route summarization. And what we remember with OSPF, with internal route summarization, is that it is done on the, the ABR, or the otherwise known as the area border router. However, what we're going to see here with external route summarization within OSPF is that it is performed on the autonomous system boundary router, or the ASBR. And we're also going to see that the configuration set for OSPF external route summarization is also different. So as you can see here in this lab, we have four routers, router 1, 2, 3, and 4. We have areas 12, 0, and 34. So area 12 connects router 1 to router 2. Area 0 is connecting router 2 to router 3 via fast ethernet. And then area 34 is connecting router 3 to router 4 via, via their serial 00, zero links. Again, router 1 to 2 is serial 00, zero as well. And that's going to connect router 1 to 2. So if if we remember with OSPF internal route summarization that is performed on the ABR so in this case the ABR would be router 2 and router 3 because router 2 connects you know area 12 to area 0 and then router 3 would be an ABR because it connects area 34 to area 0 But what we're going to find here with OSPF external route summarization is that what we're going to do in this example at least is we're going to configure router 1 and router 4 to be the, the ASBRs and we're going to be sending into our, injecting into our OSPF domain, we're going to be injecting external routes. And we're going to do this by using uh, loopback interfaces on both router 1 and 4. And we're just going to do redistribution from the connected interfaces into OSPF. So I'm going to walk you through this whole process. And then the last but not least thing that we're going item that we're going to hit on this lab is of course the whole reason for the lab which is OSPF external route summarization. So we're going to be performing OSPF external route summarization on router 1 and 4 because we're going to make them the autonomous system boundary routers. And then we're going to go through, we're going to configure all the routers. We're going to do show and show commands to verify the co correct operation of everything that's going on. So let's go ahead and get into router 1 and get it configured. Again, it's just got its serial 00, zero interface. We'll give it the I IP address 172.16.12.1. Let's go ahead and do a no shut there. Then we'll go under the OSPF process here. We'll go ahead and uh, advertise its directly connected interface serial 00, zero into OSPF process. So that's 172.16.12.1. We'll go ahead and put it in area 12. And for now, that should be... Actually, let's go ahead and put on here our loopbacks. We'll just create like a loopback 0, which is going to be 10.0.0.0. Zero slash 24 
then we'll have a loop. 